Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Jake Javarelli of Javarelli.com. Just a bunch of referral links. So this is an update on Crypto Tab, Crypto Tab Browser. I'm going to be comparing three different systems and uh, seeing what the results are versus boost versus just natural versus just their onboard power. As a reminder, still doing the giveaway, uh, 500 subs, getting there. We are getting closer and closer every day. I appreciate all the subs. I appreciate all the likes and comments. Thanks for checking in. And yes, uh, if you are interested in uh, finding out what Boost will do for you, please leave me a comment. Uh, that will be good on this video since this is a testament to exactly what seems to be going on. Honestly, let's just get into it. So. I have the Ryzen 9 system here. Uh, let's see if I can get it. There we go. Changed out the monitor so the resolution is a little bit higher now. My local system and then the old Reed computer. I finally got a power supply for it, so now I can start uh, hashing away on it too. Um, I'm not entirely sure I know what's going on, but I do appreciate at least that uh, they updated the browser and there are some you know, showing the cloud boost here, but they really want you to do it on your phone. That seems to be the emphasis more than doing it on the desktop laptops anymore. Um, I think I know why, but let me just get to it. So I have a spreadsheet that I've been using that you guys can use to check out the tab um, profits here. Sorry for those of you who are on mobile phones. This is really tiny. I realize that I'm doing this on a gigantic screen. But um, let's see if I can zoom in on uh, the first thing here. So Cryptograph is the Ryzen 9 server. And I turned off the boost for this because I wanted to see uh, what I was getting without a boost. And I realized the numbers are low. Of course, Bitcoin's been going down a bit lately. So regardless of that, let's just look at um, the uh, the price or the value I'm getting out of this. And that's the thing I really want to concentrate on is this server does a lot of hashing, 20 kilohash per second without any boost. Then my primary system does about 2200 hash or 2.2 kilohash, so roughly a tenth of what Cryptograph does. And then I have this other system over here which does somewhere, usually does about 3K, sometimes 4K, depends on what's going on. The read system was the first system I ever had up going. So what I'm concentrating on is what I can get per day. And this, this whole chart here does averages, it takes whatever's down here and averages it among all the things that are down there. So the average here is showing that the read server, a read system without the boost will do 16 cents per day. And that's about close to what it was. Cause when I was first doing the, um, the boost it was getting about a buck sixty a day, roughly. Um, point oh, like big sixteen hundred toshis a day. That was pretty accurate without the boost, and with the boost, of course, it was ten x. But the thing that really weirds me out is um, that this system at th let's just call it three k. And if we bring up the calculator and compare it, I move it back over here. So this is three k. This is 20K. So what's the ratio, right? 20 divided by three? Six, oh, six and a third, two thirds, right? Six and two thirds. So it should be, you know, roughly the, the, the amount of coin I get per day out of this one should be, uh, you know, roughly six and two thirds times, let's say rounded up to seven. So whatever this is doing, 0.16, right? Times 6.6 .6 should be a dollar, right? Or uh, 10,000 Satoshis, but it's not getting that much. I, I don't know what's going on in the background with, um, with CryptoTab and how they calculate everything, but I can say definitively from this information that this server being you know, on the par of 10 times faster than this one, and we, as we know, about roughly seven times faster than this one, it doesn't get that much faster, uh, that much more coin. And that's the thing that bugs me. I've been using this as a 
as a standard or as a as a uh, you know something to to rule against. So when people ask me, oh well, what do I get with forty thousand you know hash? Well, I say, well, with two hundred thousand hash, I'm getting X when I'm doing ten X on on this, on this system. But that that doesn't ring true, and that's the thing that really bugs me about this. I've been doing this for about oh what a week and a half to two weeks now, and without almost without fail, it seems like the ten X gets six X. That, that I don't know why that is, and I've already emailed um, CryptoTab browser, and they have given me not even a response, let alone a sorry. You know, this is just how it was going right now. There's no response, nothing. Now, did I expect a response? Not necessarily, but it does kind of bug me that this server, which should be doing six times the read server and should be doing 10 times the 9bot server isn't doing that much, even with the boost on. I don't have the numbers up here right now, but when I was doing it earlier, I'm getting, with this thing, when the boost is on, you'd think you'd get 10 times this, right? That would be what? Four, $4 a day, right? 38 cents, 0.38 times 10? No. No, what, you know what I actually get? And this is the thing that I think, I think I'm beginning to think that there's some kind of rigging going on here and that, that the 10x isn't really 10x. It says when the read system, which was doing at the best 4,000 or 4 kilohash per second, I had 10x on it, it was making about $2 a day. So I figured, oh, well, if, if this is doing that, you know, if I get a 20,000 system and do 200,000, well, it'll give me, you know, five times that, right? right it's doing four what 20 divided by four that's five right so whatever the output uh, of the read system which i think was a buck 60 right so multiply by five oh, that'd be eight right no no this system when it's running at two two hundred thousand or 200 kilohash still makes about two dollars a day so i don't know that i have any clout to force CryptoTab to honor their uh, amounts legitimately. Just like, oh, oh, uh, you're basically holding it at $2 a day, regardless of how much power you have. You know, one's doing one $1.60 a day, the other one's doing somewhere between $1.95 and two. It basically means it doesn't scale. It doesn't scale legitimately. If, if this is doing $2 a day at 4,000, when you do 10X on this one, it should do eight, 10, $12 a day. It does not. So it begs the question, I mean, and I get it, you know, you, you have to keep turning the, the thing back on again, but it, it doesn't follow. The numbers never follow. And I'm doing this one, so it shows here how many per hour I'm getting some, about 170 uh, Satoshis an hour at just the base rate. But when I turn it 10X on, it gives me, you know, 700. That's not a one to 10 ratio. It's like one to six. So it's like, then why am I paying for 10X? Now, do you make money? Yeah, you do. But for whatever reason in the background, the the cloud multiplier thing, no, it's not legit. And that, I mean, what can I say? I, you're, we're trusting a company that, I, I'm not saying that a company in general isn't trustworthy just by you know, on face value. But now that I've done some testing, you know, I've done two weeks worth of testing and I've come to the definitive conclusion that they're deliberately keeping the numbers down. So if you're getting over $2 a day in coin, you know, I don't know if you're, you know, mining it at US dollars, but if you're getting more than 20,000 Satoshis a day, let's put it that way, tell me, I'd love to know. Please comment down below or email me, tell me how you're doing. I'd love if you guys you can take a copy of this um, sheet. I'm sharing it. Download, you know, run it in Excel or running it. Run, I, I recommend running it in Google Google Sheets because it's free. All you got to do is have an email address. Do this thing. Plug your numbers. Go in there every you know hour, or two hours, or ten hours, or whatever, and just plug in the numbers, and it will tell you what your rate, your rate, and your output will will be. And if everyone's getting close to two dollars a day ish or let's say twenty thousand satoshis a day then we know that it's artificially being forced down to a number that it shouldn't be it should be a lot more i mean i get it i paid 
22 US dollars to get a 10x boost, but I expected a 10x boost, not a 6x boost. So, um, I, I just, I just want you guys to know that it's not legitimate and that, uh, Cryptograph is doing some manipulation on the back end to make sure that you don't get more than a certain amount. And I, I would say, I'm not entirely sure that I want to go and, you know, buy another upgrade like, oh, oh well, my, when mine finishes up in about another four or five days, um, so five days, yeah, three, five days, it'll be five days when my renewal will hit. Um, I'm not sure I want to get 10x. I might go with a four or a six X just because I can't reliably guarantee that I'm going to actually get 10 X. It's kind of unfair in my opinion. I mean, obviously they're, they have some method to their madness as to why they're doing what they're doing, but it just seems impractical. If you're going to give you, if you're going to offer 10 X, give 10 X. Don't say 10 X and then give you six because I don't want to pay for a lie. So, um, I am honestly looking at the possibility of just not buying the upgrade, not buying the 10x boost. I don't get any bonus for, you know, you guys joining my network and getting the boost other than just the percentage I would otherwise have gotten. And if they're not even delivering it anyways, then what's the difference? You know, you should just not get the boost. Don't pay them money if they're not going to give you what they say they're going to give you. So, um, I, I realize it's nigh to impossible to continuously click the, the boost button and obviously it's supposed to be using when you're just when you're actively using the browser but I, the whole point of this was to find out if it was legit I found out it's not legit so I recommend against getting the boost from now on um, I, I think as I said before in previous videos uh, several of the videos I made in CryptoTab um, the boost is almost useless when it comes to mining on phones. Now, if you had, I, I know that uh, one of my follow or one of my subs uh, has been doing this on, I think 16, eight, 10, 10 to 16 phones, um, getting the boost on all of them. And I'm, I'm not sure what his output is because I haven't seen, he hasn't given me numbers yet, but um, if he's doing well with that, great. But I have a strong feeling that it's not going to be as practical with phones since you get so much less hashing power out of it. And you have to just still server dependent um, just to get, so you have to buy the app and then you have to, you know, pay the X number for every single device you have connected to it. Um, so I, yeah, uh, two weeks of, of testing has shown it's not practical and I'm pr still going to test a little bit more, but I'm a little disillusioned on this. So just so you guys know, um, I'm going to put more commentary on this in the description to basically say that I'm not entirely sure that 10x boost is legit. So I'm sorry if you guys bought the 10x boost and you're not, but like I said, if you're getting it, please tell me. Write in the comments what, what you're getting out of, out of your own. Uh, in any case, uh, if you like this video, thumbs up. Uh, if you've got something to say about it, please give me a comment. Um, and uh, as like I said, we're doing the giveaway. Uh, once we hit 500 subs, uh, 175,000 Satoshis in all. Um, so you, you got to be a sub, and I'll know if you're if you're a sub. And then please leave me a, a comment with your Bitcoin address so we'll be able to pay for it. And if you can do it now or later, whenever you want, uh, but you'll need to be a sub at the time of the giveaway to qualify. So thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.